Hello guys to Resident Evil 2 1998 part 9 I think it's part 9 yeah, it's part nine. <laughs> okay, anyways, last time we ended on a climax where we saw Chief Irons get killed by a monster with a eye on his shoulder. We just ended there. We just uh, just gonna continue from where I stopped. So let's just continue. Uh, the last part was pretty short, I think. Uh, unfortunately, I said that it was midnight in my time. So yeah. I was very tired so I need to there was no there's not gonna be any save point nearby so I just stop where I, I played and just continue from there onwards <laughs> so you've made it this far not bad girl but I'm not letting anyone leave my town everyone's gonna die calm down chief what happened Shut up! You couldn't possibly understand what's happened. Those monsters from Umbrella have destroyed my beautiful town. How could they do that to me after everything I've done for them? So it's true. You have been working with Umbrella. Then you must know about the G-Virus. What is it? Tell me! If you must know, it's the agent that can turn you into the ultimate bioweapons. Superior to the T-Virus in every way. Dr. William Birkin is the gene behind the project. William Birkin? I'm sure you've already seen his little girl running around here somewhere. Sherry, isn't it? In case you haven't already figured it out, the monster that's been Tearing my precinct apart is yet another product of the G-Virus. The ultimate bio-weapon. Umbrella must be trying to cover its tracks. But if I have to go, I'm going to take you with me. Ugh. I just can't take the pain! Yeah, goodbye, you scumbag. <laughs> okay, so the file we found earlier in last part. This one here. The guy who was involved in making the G-Virus and trying to cover the stars, the stars members, uh, to trying to get rid of stars and evidence or anything related to the case it's william birkin right below there is sherry's father hmm what a plot twist we have here okay okay we have ammo hello take the ammo please okay thank you <coughs> at least the scumbag uh, she finds is dead so i'm pretty happy about it wait, wait, wait. oh god Problems of having fat fingers, guys. Yeah, fat fingers, unfortunately. So we are gonna... Anything else? No, nothing. Okay. Okay, there is a opening here. Yeah. Okay, where are we? Oh, we are in the, the part we couldn't visit before in the sewage disposal. Okay. And folks, we have our first boss fight. Okay, let's kill this thing before it gets close. I have one more ammo. 
Okay, now switch to acid. Can you please die? Is it dead? Oh no, no, the small things is keep attaching to me. Yeah, it's dead, but... Ah, oh, God. Push the button. Damn it. Okay. Will you go up? Yes. <coughs> that post fire is very easy. <laughs> you just need a few uh, shots from the grenade rounds. A uh, grenade launcher, not rounds. Grenade launcher. That should be, boss should be fairly easy. So we are exiting the sewage disposal area. Yeah. I have to go back. Oh god, I forgot. Ah, oh, no, I gotta backtrack again. <laughs> I gotta backtrack again. Oh, hey, Sherry, stop being stupid. And stop running to the walls. Man, this would be really funny in real life if you see someone running through the walls like that. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. I think the small things shouldn't be in here anymore. Yeah, it's not here anymore. Good, good. Okay, we made it back to Sherry. Claire, you came back. I can't believe the man who developed the G virus is actually her father. What's wrong, Claire? It's nothing. But I think I found a way out of here. We should be able to find some place safe if we can just make it out of town. But... Don't worry, I'll protect you. I promise. But you have to make sure you don't leave my side. Leon, are you still there? We're leaving. Are you crazy? The streets are still crawling with zombies. It'll be alright, trust me. We found a way to the sewer. Follow us later. Claire! Claire! Wait, wait! Lol. <laughs> Leon was right. We are leaving. And I was, hey, what? <laughs> okay, we, Sherry, I mean, Claire doesn't want to tell Sherry's father is the one behind all this, but I can understand that. It's difficult for a small child to grasp, grasp all of that stuff that's happening right now. So it's better not to tell. Wait, why am I at caution? Oh, I didn't even realize that. <laughs> I didn't realize I was at caution. Oh, by the way, when Sherry is with us like this, you can see her in the top left. Meaning she also has a health bar, but it doesn't show the condition like ours. But she has a health bar, meaning she can die. <laughs> if she dies, it's game over. <laughs> Just saying. Okay, she's not discussed with this. Oh, God damn it. Can you stop? Okay, there you go. So she's not discussed with that. Hmm. Oh, she doesn't just ignoring. Just pretending not to see that.
Okay, looks like we got the full picture of that monster with the eyeball on the shoulder. Uh huh. It's only one arm that's mutated. The his body is kind of, kind of enlarged in size. The rest of the body. Are you kidding me? Claire, I'm here. Ah, we won, we with Sherry for five minutes and we got separated again. Ah, this game, not game, this stupid Sherry, man. Okay, looks like we have to control Sherry again. Okay, where are we? You are in sewer B2. Oh, okay. Oh, before in the sewer disposal, now we're actually in the sewers. Okay, there's B1 and B2. I guess Claire is in B1. We are in B2 since we dropped down. How did she fit down there? Was the water current that strong to pull her down? Huh. I don't know. You should not question game logic. <laughs> you should not question game logic. Okay. Okay, there's no door here, meaning that we should get an item or something. Oh, there's a ladder. There's some ladder here. The exit of the ladder is blocked. Oh, okay, never mind. What's this? There's a there's a bogan ammo right up here. Where is codes and meter? No, the bogan it's 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 out of reach. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, okay, I get it. She's too small to catch that. Oh god. Okay, we have no weapons. Okay, what's this? Hello? Oh, okay. That's the way we're supposed to go. Now why? Oh, it doesn't show on the map though. Oh, it does show. Okay, maybe I'm blind. Let me just double check. Yeah, it does show. There's a yellow line. Okay, maybe I was blind. Oh god. Okay, okay, oh god, god, cockroaches. Killer cockroaches, oh god, no, 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 Okay, I'm still fine. Okay, these things don't do much damage then. Even if they are... Oh god. Killer cockroaches. Oh god. Come on, Sherry, come on, hey, whoa. Okay, I'm still fine. Okay, the exit is right in front of you. Okay. Okay, okay, there's an item here. Wolf metal. Hmm. Oh. oh no. Okay, she's still alive. Oh god. Oh shit! Is Sherry dead? Okay, you're telling me that when Sherry went all through the stuff, was Claire was just standing here and doing nothing? Okay, Claire. The floodgate is. See, it doesn't drag down Claire. Why did it drag down Sherry? Huh. I don't know if. If Sherry is alive or dead now. Okay. Okay. Let's just. Stupid game. Oh, blue herbs. I think this is the first time we encountered one. Uh, the blue herbs doesn't technically heal you. I think one is enough. Yeah. Because the blue herb is technically, technically something that heals you. It's blue herbs kind of. You get. I think we haven't met any enemy which poisons us. But since we saw the blue herb now, meaning we're gonna encounter enemies that will poison us. So blue herbs neutralize the poison. That's it. It doesn't heal you. Okay, looks like we have a few doors and a ladder to go down. But there's a letter here as well. Let's read that. 
Sewer management, sewer manage of facts. Okay. Use a list of the connecting facility of the one of the first and third Venice. Okay, what? On the first and third Venice days of the month. Oh, okay, okay. On the first and third Venice days of the month, Angelica Margaret, chief of maintenance, will make use of the facilities. Be sure to reduce the moisture levels in the facility by activating the fan as the equipment she will be using be sustainable to the effects of water vapors okay on the 28th of every month the, the chemical transporter don Weller will use the facility the chemicals he will be transporting are extremely volatile extreme caution should be observed throughout their transport on the 6th and 16th of every month Police Chief Brian Alcott, this guy. Police Chief Brian Irons will be, visit the facility to attend the regular meetings that take place in the lab. On the fourth Friday of every other month, William Alcott, oh this guy too. <laughs> William Birkin will use the facility to conduct a training seminar for the Chicago branch of Umbrella Incorporated. Okay. As the probability of an attack upon Mr. Birkin, sorry, Dr. Birkin, will be high take every measure to cons conceivable to guard his life i think that's how it's pronounced you will be informed of all the other potential visitors and the times they will arrive as needed guide these individuals to their destination safely we accept nothing but from the best of you charles coleman secretary chief umbrella headquarters okay Looks like the sewers are controlled by the umbrella. I get it, I get it. But unfortunately, guys, we are gonna end. Oh, good, encrypt. We are gonna end the video here. So we are gonna continue the sewer area and hopefully find Sherry. Hopefully she's alive. We'll find out. We'll find that out in the next part. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll appreciate it watching until this part nine. So I'll see you guys in the next part, part 10. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye for now.